Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan and today we'll be showing you guys the top 5 best weapons and classes in Chivalry 2. Alright so in order to find the top 5 best weapons in this game I had to basically do an analysis and an in-depth kind of like study on every single weapon in this game and every single weapon's stats, speeds, damage, damage types, uh, bonuses and everything like that and also range in order to find the top five best weapons for you guys. So this took a lot of work and I hope you guys enjoy what I have found. All right, so starting off at number five will be the Executioner's Axe. So this bad boy is one of the longest axes in this entire game and specializes and is the second best weapon in this game for group control. So that means when you're outnumbered, this is the weapon you're gonna wanna use. So this weapon has a bonus to any armored opponent, but not the highest. So it is basically any axe has a plus 25% damage to knights and plus 17.5% damage to footmen. So that means that the more armored your opponent, the more damage you're going to be doing. So it's pretty consistent across the field to how much damage it's doing to every single opponent. Alright, so let's talk about the bonuses. So this weapon has a increased damage and longer release has a slower windup and has increased special damage. So that basically means that increased damage is just means it has the max damage in the game, a second max damage, and the longer release just means that it takes longer for you to follow through your attacks. So you're more vulnerable while you're attacking to other attacks. And your slower windup also just means it takes longer for you to get ready to attack. So that just means this weapon is extremely slow and is just perfect for the amount of damage it does and the range it has for multiple enemies and just slices through multiple people at once. So it won't stop on one person, it'll just keep going and it'll slash through multiple people and kill. It can possibly kill like five to six people in one heavy slash, which is so nice, but the one problem you will see in this video, in this uh, gameplay I'm showing you guys, is whenever I get in a 1v1 situation, typically it is not an easy weapon to win in that situation. Because right here, the shield dude with a short sword overwhelms me, and even when I repost him, which means I attack faster with a quick attack, I can't hit him because he's just spamming me with attacks. So you will lose against... Um, like fast weapons and 1v1s a lot more often with this weapon but you won't feel like the disadvantages of being attacked by multiple people at once you won't get ganked in this game so this is the second best weapon in the game for fighting multiple opponents oh and also for each weapon i'll just kind of show the stats real quick and i won't really talk about it too much but just know that this weapon has 50 slash damage 30 stab damage, basically non-existent, 60 overhead, and 80 special, which is just insane. And it has a speed of one second, so it takes one second to get a attack off, which is very, very slow, and it's not the greatest, but this has this insane amount of damage. Like, the heavy slash is 70, and the heavy overhand is 70. So this does a crap ton of damage if you do heavy attacks to large groups of people. All right, so coming in at number four would be the shovel. Yeah. Just a normal blunt shovel. That is the fourth best weapon in this game. I know you guys won't believe me. You might even be mad that that's the fourth best weapon, but it is, and here's why. All right, so the reason why the shovel is the fourth best weapon in this game is just the pure amount of speed and damage this weapon does to heavily armored units. So this weapon has a plus 50% damage to knights and plus 35% damage to footmen. And also you get uh, bear trap walls and extra bandage kits that you can use on yourself. And you also have this kind of charge that helps too. So this is a really tanky unit that can keep healing over and over and get away from fights pretty quickly. And definitely can um, kind of fit that role of like a team support kind of unit. So this dude is really, really good. And he also gets 25% extra health every time he revives someone. So that's pretty nice. All right, so why this weapon is so good, and honestly, I wanted to list this a lot higher, but I just couldn't because of the sh sheer amount of damage of some of the other weapons and the range, but we'll talk about that in a second. So this weapon is so good because of how fast it is at 0.7 seconds. So it attacks at 0.7 seconds for slashes, and for any other kind of attack, it is 0.75 seconds. So not a big difference, but that 0.7 is one of the fastest two-handed weapon speeds in this game as well as you have that faster recovery, faster slashing damage, and faster release. So just overall, this weapon ends up being extremely fast and can get combos off on people and overwhelm them really, really quickly. 
Plus, that plus 50% damage to knights means that you can actually two-shot knights in this game. Because the heavy slash damage is 60 and the heavy overhand is 70. And you plus 50% on that and it ends up being like, you know, the heavy overhand would be about 105 damage, I believe, and one hit to a knight. So you can theoretically two-shot most units in this game, especially in the knights. I believe you can two or three-shot every unit in this game. And it also is one of the fastest weapons in this game. And also, it has a range of seven feet. So it's not too bad, but it's definitely a problem. All right, so coming in at number three for the best weapon in Chivalry 2 would be the Battle Axe, which is one of the first unlockable weapons in this game as well, which is really nice. So the reason the Battle Axe is so good is because it has the highest damage output out of any weapon in this game mixed with its speed and just is absolutely insanely good for taking out large groups of opponents and just killing people as fast as possible. I also recommend using the Knight class or the Crusader class for this because you're going to want that extra armor because this weapon is only has a range of 6 feet so it's like one of the shortest weapons in this game and I definitely recommend the improved armor. And also the Knight class gives you the oil pots and the throwing axes which are pretty nice for that damage boost. Alright so the bonuses for this weapon. So this weapon has a faster combo time speed, faster and stronger overhead damage, and most damage to shields or bonus damage to shields. So it's definitely pretty nice and has that plus 25% damage to knights since it's an axe and also um, has the highest slash damage in this entire game and overhead damage in this game. So it's slash damage is 75 for heavy and for heavy overhead is 85 and it's special can get up to 125 against knights which is just insane. So it's normal special damage is 100 but you get that extra bonus and it just becomes like a destroying knight kind of weapon. I do want to mention that this weapon is pretty slow and its overhead speed is 0.9 seconds and its every other attack is 1 second. So it's a pretty slow weapon but it can be effective for small groups of people and 1v1s but it's not really good for either of those and I didn't really like it that much but can't ignore how much damage it does so it's pretty good. Alright, so coming in at number 2 for the second best weapon in all of Chivalry 2 would be the Short Spear and Shield for the Knight class or the Footman class. It's just kind of your preference there. It doesn't really matter too much. But the Short Spear is the second best weapon in this entire game. And here's why. Alright, so the reason why this weapon is, in my opinion, the second best weapon in this game, even though I really, really wanted to put it at first because it is extremely overpowered with some of its abilities and some of its exploits, I'd say. And even I'd say this is a completely broken weapon. Like, that's how good this is and that's how much I like it. And I have tons of gameplay for you guys of me literally destroying 25 people without dying a single time. I mean, you will not die with this weapon if you know how to use it. That is how good this is. Alright, so first off, let's talk about its damage. And I really want to talk about the speed first, but we'll go with damage just to start it off. So, it's damage, it's nothing insane. So it has a slash damage of 40, a stab damage of 50, overhead 45, and special of 80. That special of 80 is actually really, really nice because when you use that special, you actually leap forward and attack in a huge amount of range. Like, you leap and extend your arm so much that you can actually reach about, I think it's 15 feet and damage someone 15 feet away from you which is just insane and it does a lot of damage from that distance too so it's definitely something that's really nice it's special ability all right so what makes this weapon so good is the fact its stab speed is only 0.5 seconds yes 0.5 that is twice the speed of any other two-handed weapon in this game and is one of the fastest weapons in this game it is as fast as the short dagger basically the short sword in this game and it's just insane for how fast you can get stabs off and even can um pretty it can fight pretty well with like a group of people if you use heavy slashes which the slashes take about 0.7 seconds so it's not slow but it doesn't do a lot of damage in that case it doesn't do a lot of damage overall but it makes up for that with how much speed it has so overall, this weapon has a bonus of reduced damage, which isn't the greatest, but it has faster release, which is really nice. So it makes it so you can get to your target way faster and catch them off guard a lot quicker, or you can attack them before they attack you, which happens a lot. And it also has faster and stronger stabs. 
So just combine like that stab is coming at them like within 0.43 seconds basically or 0.5 seconds on the dot because it doesn't have that like delay for you winding up your attack which is really nice. Also, upon a hit, it also has a faster recovery, so you can kind of spam your opponent with attacks and overwhelm literally anyone with a two-handed weapon in this game. Like, anyone with a pole arm or anything that's slower, like a maul, you can just completely overwhelm with attacks. Alright, so you're probably saying to yourself, okay, we get it, this weapon doesn't have a lot of damage, but it's extremely fast and can overwhelm people, but... Like, that's not going to help for groups, and you're right, this is not a group weapon. You're not going to want to get outnumbered with this weapon. You're going to want to stick with your team, and you're going to want to stick to objectives and be on the defense. Because this weapon is really designed for group fighting or 1v1s. This weapon is the best weapon for 1v1s, and I will say that, and I know you guys might get angry at that, but it is the number one 1v1 weapon in this entire game, and here is the reason for that. Alright, so I know you guys are probably saying, okay, this weapon has a lot of um, speed and does a little bit of damage, and I get it, we can overwhelm people with it, but why is it so good? Why is it the second best weapon in the game? That is because this weapon is completely broken. If you guys notice in the gameplay, I am hitting almost every single one of my shots, even when they block. That is because this weapon, when you attack, their like block chance or their block hitbox where they're aiming is about 50% smaller. Meaning you can consistently hit people way more often with this weapon than any other weapon in this game. You can completely overwhelm people. And what you'll see me doing is um, when I attack, I attack from the right and then I aim around their shoulder. So I basically kind of get to the side of them and try to hit their back. And then when I hit to the left, I do the exact opposite and go around their shoulder. That means the only way they can block my attacks most of the time is by completely blocking to their right or blocking to their left instead of just blocking straight at me which is why this weapon is so powerful it just reaches around people and hits around their blocks every single time the shield is the only thing that can actually consistently block me and i have a little problems with but if they don't have a shield they are done for they will not block any of your attacks and it becomes extremely powerful against two-handed weapons and anyone that's really like good with pole arms and stuff like that and it's just so powerful and can kill so many people so that's why I put it at number two, and I absolutely love the weapon. Alright, so the number one weapon in Chivalry 2, and this probably doesn't come as a surprise to you guys, and I was really hoping the spear or the shovel will overtake it, but it just won't, and this is still the king, and it was the king of Chivalry 1, and this is so overpowered, and this is the reason for it. So purely the reason this weapon is so good is just the amount of damage this does, the reach it does, and the speed it does. I mean, it covers every single category, and it just completely is overpowered, and it's just good for 1v1s and good for group fights. I mean, it can be anything. It can be spamming, like people spamming you with attacks, and it can be really heavy attacks and ranged attacks, whatever. It beats every single other type of weapon in this game. So the reason for that is it's 55 slash damage, 70 heavy damage, and 90 special, and stuff like that. Like, everything is just really high. Even the overhead damage is 70 on the base, and the heavy is 80. So this bit weapon will basically 2 or 3 shot every like every other class in this game. So it is extremely strong, fast, and powerful. So also the speed is 0.8 for a slash and the stab speed and everything else is 0.9. So it's definitely not the fastest in the world, no, nowhere close to the spear, but it is faster than most two-handed weapons because most two-handed weapons are gonna fall in that one second speed, so it's just slightly faster. But it does come in at one of the longest weapons for two-handed swords in this game. So um, overall, its range is about eight feet, meaning you will outreach most people in this game, and also it is faster than most weapons, so it outreaches, is faster and is stronger than pretty much every weapon in this game but it's, it's kind of like an overall good weapon it's not good it's not like the best in every single field but it is like the second best in every single field and that is why this weapon is so good and it's just an overall kind of like um it's kind of like an overall good weapon you know it is this number one but is not one, number one at anything specifically I also wanted to mention the bonuses. So the bonuses is a longer release and increased damage, faster and stronger slashes. So you're gonna want to basically just focus on slashing with this weapon because it's the fastest and also just hits the most amount of people. 
and also has an increased special damage, which the special damage is about 90, which is definitely pretty good for like destroying shields and destroying blocks and killing people instantly, but it's kind of it's kind of funky. Like the special attack doesn't leap forward or anything. It just kind of attacks like an overhead would. So I definitely wouldn't recommend using overhead or special for this weapon and just kind of slash spamming. And honestly, this is one of the most new friendly weapons in this game and this will lead you to killing like dozens of people and not taking any damage at the same time. So this is the perfect weapon and the absolute best weapon in this entire game. All right, so that is it, the top five best weapons in Chivalry 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and also I can put down in the description all the other weapons and all the other stats I had. And you can also go back to every single picture of like the stats I put for everything. And I just had like a huge five papers worth of weapon stats and statistics, and I went frame by frame for like the models and like how they attack to find the speeds. So I mean, if you guys. Um, have another favorite weapon i can always like look at it or tell you guys like the stats i found for that weapon and why it didn't come in the top five but it's definitely pretty fun to do this video and i hope you guys found this helpful so i'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully i can do some meme strats or different videos for chivalry too if you guys uh give me some support in this video or if you guys enjoyed this one so i'll see you guys in the next one and peace out